flew high into the Himalayas to help a watcher from way back complete his forgotten mission. In the magical world of Mount Everest, we met food dogs, abominable snow persons, and incredible ancient Tibetan soldiers. But the watcher himself was the greatest surprise of all. Join our adventure next. Widget, we've come because of an urgent mission. Oh, I feel so small. You are. Now just tell Widget what he must do. Very well. You see, Waggle, the Horsehead Nebula has been receiving faint watcher distress signals from high in the Himalayan mountains of Tibet. Since you are the only known watcher on planet Earth, you must go and investigate the source of this signal. Yahoo! <laughs> Luckily, I found my Elder Hologram Expander Module. <laughs> hey, somebody! It's, it's working! <laughs> there you go! Good as new! I hope. As I was saying, Widget, you had better get going to the Himalayas. We're counting on you, Whippet! Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Ho-ho! Purple pulsars! Let's push off, Mega Pal. Your Mega Brainy co-pilot is ready for action! Right on course over India, take a left at Kathmandu, and straight ahead to the Himalayan mountains. Global. We're nearly there. See the tallest one? My data says that's Mount Everest, the highest mountain on Earth, over 29,000 feet tall. Oh, how cosmically cool. Solar slank rays. We're picking up the watcher distress signal. Waking quasars. Look, it's coming from that antique space cruiser. Come on, Mega B. Let's go investigate. Whoa. It looks older than dirt. With my Mega Age Analyzer, I'll do an analysis to see just how old it is. <laughs> this little trap is really an antique. Whooped out wild. When was it made? I'd say somewhere back about the Pleistocene era. Dwarf stars and space sludge. Let's see what's inside. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Yahoo! 
This was a watcher shuttle from Horsehead Nebula. Oh, crashing comets and purple pulsars. How'd it get here? Scientifically speaking, it's me. Blasting beetle bunkers. Time for a mega move. Dwarf stars and space sludge. That avalanche was close. Oh, my gracious me, oh my! Look! Jazz and Jupiter. It looks like the abominable snowman. Uh, who, who are you? Come, ride with me. Thank you, my food dog friends. I'm happy to be home. Screaming supernovas. Oh, why, uh, you're a watcher. Yes, I am Zodi. Welcome to the hidden kingdom of Kali Ko. <laughs> I'll watch a rigid apprentice first class. Oh, just a beginner, eh? Pupling. Betazoids. I thought I was the only watcher, uh, uh, apprentice watcher on Earth. <laughs> well, I've been here since way back. Follow me, young watcher. Amazing transformation powers. Amazing powers. Jack and Jupiter, I have to tell the elders I found you. Omega Bell. Whoa. Whoa. Baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> What is this strange creature without a body? Strange, no body. No body, strange. <laughs> That's my mega brain unit. He seeks, gathers, stores, and analyzes interplanetary data. Why, back in my day, we used our own brain. Our own brains? <laughs> in my day, <laughs> yep. Well, <laughs> two brains are better than one, Gramps. Uh, Mega Buddy, please summon the elders. We must tell them about Watcher Zodi. Okie dokie. Elders, coming right up. Elders, coming here to Calico? Well, uh, well they're holographic images. Uh, I must go. I have more important things to do. Must go. Things to do. Oh, hey, wait. Attention. The elders are arriving on schedule. Non-stop from Orion, Gate K, Calico Station. Widget, have you located the source of the signal? Yes, and, and I've located another watcher from way back. His name is Zodi. Well, impossible. We have no record of other watchers on Earth. Check it out immediately. Aha! Sure enough, there once was a watcher named Zodi. He held very special powers. Last contact with him was back during the Earth's Pleistocene Ice Age. I know it, I know it. Winky, you must return Master Watcher Zodi to Horsehead Nebula at once. His ancient wisdom and knowledge of Earth ways will help young apprentice watchers. But it won't be easy. Old watchers get set in their ways. The 
elders want you to return to the Horsehead Nebula. Why don't you pull up some air? Have a seat. I've heard the lack of oxygen at high altitudes can make you light-headed. But this is ridiculous. Chaz and Jupiter, how'd you do that? It's simply mind over matter. It's an ancient force called levitation. Try it. Concentrate hard. Oops. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll do just fine after a hundred or so years of practice. Now, can you show me how you transform? Oh, it's simple. I just picture in my mind what I want to change into, and then... Presto! There I am! I'll give it the old watcher try. <laughs> Jumping Jupiter! You did it! Look at the Zodi Yak! Well, walked out wild. I guess you can teach an old watcher new tricks. There's lots you can teach apprentice watchers back home. No, I can't. My work is unfinished here on planet Earth. But the elders said... See this gold ribbon? It was awarded to me for getting the job done. Steadfastness in a wishy-washy world. Well, Jazz and Jupiter, I have a job to do, too. I'm supposed to help you get back safely to the Horsehead Nebula. Not now. No time. Much to do. No time. Much to do, do, do. But the elders said. Now I've got important work to do as soon as I remember what it is. But, but Master Zodi. Oh. The elders aren't going to like this one. Uh -oh. oh, no. Not even a little bit. Uh uh. Breaking Quasar's Master Zodi, think hard! What Watcher mission must be completed before you can go home? Master Zodi, uh, wake up! <laughs> uh, what? Oh, yes. Uh, where were we? You were trying to remember your unfinished mission. Why not just consult your computer, hmm? I compute everything right up here in the old Watcher Noggin. Everything I've ever done and known. Well, then remember what you're supposed to do. Well, let's see. The Ice Age was spreading over Earth. I was sent here to get various animals to safety. I remember a herd of huge woolly mammoths with incredible tusks. And a bunch of other remarkable creatures that I can't quite remember. Can't remember creatures. Creatures can't remember. That's it. No. The Yetis. I was taking Lee and T to join their family. My space cruiser stopped running and crashed in the snow. Where is their family? I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know. Can't remember. <laughs> I don't know if I can take this stereo playback anymore. Hey, Zodi! The guidance system on your space cruiser should have the bearings and course frozen in place. Let's check it out. We're not picking up that distress signal anymore, either. Look, tracks, tracks, look. They're right. There are tracks leading down the mountain. Oh. <laughs> My spectacles. You lost your glasses. What, what are we going to do? No time to worry about that. Back in the shuttle, you must follow the tracks. What on earth? I can 
replace your glasses with a set of exterior electro eagle eye refractors. <laughs> I'll be back in a flash, Gramps. Eagle eye what? I must say, this is a most remarkable archaeological find. Why, I shall be famous. I'll go down into history. Perhaps he'll be knighted by the Queen. <laughs> a legend in my own time, thank you. Whoa, warped out wild! Cruiser snatchers at four o'clock! Stop right there! You have to release this cosmic crap. It's needed for a vital watcher mission. Absolutely never! I am Professor Oscar O. Osborne, curator of Her Majesty's Museum of the Himalayas. Thank you very much. But this ancient craft is not yours. Anything found in these mountains belongs to the museum for the world to see. This shuttle belongs to Watcher Zodi. He needed to get these Yetis back to their family. Yetis? Yetis! So this is what they look like. I must have them for my museum as well. Soldiers, take the Yetis! <laughs> Just cheap magic tricks, chaps. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, after them. Good, good, good dog. Watch your widget. It's very brave what you're doing, but there are ways other than force. Teach me, Master Zodi. Use your mind. Remember? Simply pick up the ship and take it. Levitate it? But, but I can't. I, I need practice. You do it. I can't without my glasses. If I can't see the shuttle, I can't levitate it. Now, please, concentrate hard. You can do it. will defrost this antique space cruiser in no time. Oh, my gramps. I almost forgot. <laughs> As promised, my exterior electro eagle eyes. Ta-da! They're fantastic, Mega Brain. I guess two heads are better than one. Well, it's time for me to take the Yetis back to their families deep in the Hidden Valley, and then return to the Horsehead Nebula. Watch a widget for getting the job done. For steadfastness, I present you with this gold ribbon. Oh, I... Uh, uh... And I'll go, knowing I'm leaving planet Earth in good hands. No wonder you're called Abominable Snowman. You just can't ever behave. No wonder. Can't ever behave. <laughs> 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 